can't believe you came back for us. You saved our lives. Lieutenant, we took a direct hit. How do you feel? That wound looks bad. I don't think the lieutenant can talk. Copy that. Lieutenant, what you just did was both the bravest and dumbest thing I have ever seen. I kept count. You took out 11 of Rommel's best men. <laughs> At 12. Lieutenant, please try not to move. Charge! Don't worry, we're gonna get you out of here. Save us. We're gonna save you. So I'll keep it brief. I'm with the Office of Strategic Services. Our mission is sabotage, subversion, and everything in between. We're taking the fight to the Nazis, going after the Third Reich on their home turf. We do some of the most dangerous work of the war, and we're looking for people just like you. Now the sergeant and I go way back. He's an excellent judge of character. And for what you did in Tunisia, he's nominated you for the Medal of Honor. Trust me, Lieutenant. I hate doing paperwork, but in your case, I made an exception. You saved our lives. I have a motto. Life is usually a pageant of idiots and fools, but occasionally you find yourself in the company of good people, and then anything is possible. Lieutenant, you are now going to hear the most important question I can ask. Would you like to join the OSS? Excellent. What about you, gentlemen? It's simple. We go where the lieutenant goes. Yes, sir. I have every confidence you're going to make me look like a genius for recruiting you. Welcome to the OSS. Hello, Lieutenant. I'm Dr. Thatch. Welcome to the infirmary. Ah, we'll have you back on your feet in no time. Ah, I know you're having some trouble speaking after what happened in Tunisia, so let's just use hand gestures, eh? I am always here, Lieutenant, so please, come back any time. You can access my office through the main menu. Good luck and tally-ho! Welcome to the firing range, Lieutenant. Now that you're back on your feet, the Colonel thought we should give you a quick combat refresher. Your current objective is always shown on your sleeve. Take a look. Hover your hand over objects. Press the grip button to grab them. You can use either hand. Give your other hand a try. Now it's time to move, Lieutenant. I see you're right-handed, just like me. Good. Makes this training easy. Look at your sleeve again. The arrow always points in the direction you need to go. Use the left stick to move, the right stick to turn. To run, press in the left stick. Let's move on to live fire training. Remember, you can always adjust your comfort and controller settings by pressing the pause button and accessing the options menu. All right, Lieutenant, it's time to shoot stuff. Specialist McKinney is here. Grab the pistol from its holster on your hip. Squeeze the trigger to fire. Holding the pistol with both hands will give you more stability and accuracy. Button to eject the magazine. Excellent. 
Jeff. Bring the mag is look at that. Once we now let go of the pistol. The weapon will automatically return to its holster after you release it. Larger weapons will holster on your back. Reach over your shoulder and grab your M1 and fire away. Specialist La Mouget to help demonstrate some advanced weapon handling. You carry your pistol on your hip and a larger weapon on each shoulder. When you pick up a new weapon, it will replace the one you currently have in that slot. Grab this Carabiner 98K rifle with your left or right hand and you'll see it swap. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Now get ammo for the fire away, Lieutenant. is a bolt-action rifle, so you reload by pulling and pushing the bolt after each shot. You can use either hand to do this. Great work. Let's go to the next station. I know you just got out of the infirmary, Lieutenant, but we need to give you a quick refresher on battlefield medicine. You will automatically heal from minor wounds, but if you really get hurt, You'll need to use some first aid. Pretend to hurt yourself by smashing your hand on these rusty nails. Ouch! Grab a first aid syringe. Now comes the fun part. Stab yourself in the chest. The syringe will auto-inject the medicine. Voila! Good as new. You can store up to three. Now onto grenades. Head up the stairs. Pick up an American grenade, which looks to pull the pin. You can use throw the grenade, Lieutenant. Now this is a German hand grenade. Arm the grenade and throw it. You can use your grenades are stored on your chest. Pick a grenade up and let it go. Now pull a grenade off your chest. Excellent. You're ready to take on the Third Reich. When you're done with grenades, head on down the stairs to the firing range. Spend as much time at the firing range as you want. When you're done, just go through the door to return to headquarters. Yes, sir. Ollie, how old are you? I'm 23. I'm 19. I'm 16. I have every right to be here. More than you, that's for sure. The Nazis didn't bomb Abilene, Texas. They bombed London, England. They destroyed my home. They burned my entire life to the ground, and now I want to do the same thing to the Third Reich. Go ahead, turn me in. I'll find a way to get to the front. How do you think I got to Tunisia? Forging transfer orders has become an hobby of mine. I will make it to France. That'll worry, Ali. You're 
secret safe. I'm pretty sure the lieutenant isn't gonna say anything. Thank you, Sarge. Thank you, Lieutenant. But I have two rules. Keep your head down and do exactly what I say. What's that? You don't listen to me even once. I'll turn you over to the Germans myself, understand? I understand, sir. I won't disappoint you. Either of you. Somehow, this motley crew has been tasked with saving civilization. God help us all. <laughs> <laughs>